seeing the coolant ball in like normal lighting versus what I had last night, it looks a lot better, so I'm liking it a lot more today. What is going on, you guys? It is Sunday. It's actually a gorgeous day outside. A little bit on the hot side, but not too, too bad. Um, hope your day is going fantastic. Like I said yesterday, tonight is the Ace Cafe uh, and Juku charity event for Puerto Rico. So I had a few more things to do to my car before we head out there. It's about 1 o'clock or so now. Um, the show starts at 6. I'll be there about 5.15 or so. They have some parking for us. Um, I'm not sure exactly what we're doing, but they wanted us there a little bit early, so we're doing that. Uh, Got to get the coolant system filled back up, and then maybe, maybe wash the car, maybe possible a little bit, and then we are off. For coolant in my car, I've always ran the Dex Cool, the orange cap, the 50-50, so uh, half of that with some distilled water. I've never had any problems overheating, so that's what I've always used. Let me know what you guys use, but I've never had any problem with this. Actually, instead of using that, I'm going to go ahead and put what I took out yesterday just back in. This is still really good. Um, it hasn't been in there too long. I'm just gonna pour that back in. If I need to add more, I'll mix a bit more, but I'm just gonna use this instead of wasting it. Funnel. All right, let's not make a mess. Good. If we get a little peek inside here, you can see where the level's at right there. I'm gonna turn the car and let it run for a little while, let any air come out, because there's a lot through here, I'm sure. And then we should be good. And then I clean this up, because there's still coolant there and there, and kind of, yeah. I did all right not making a giant mess, but it's still dirty. Still has not gotten old. So we'll see if it goes down at all. If it does, I'll add a bit more, but we should be good to go. After that, I may wash the car, but it's kind of hot, so I don't really know. Eh, we'll see. All right, so the car just ran for about 20 minutes or so. Didn't overheat, got a temperature, but it was good to go. Um, didn't lose any coolant, which is also really good. So uh, we're good to go. We're gonna drive later on tonight. Um, I was gonna wash the car, but the car really isn't dirty at all. Um, the wheels can be wiped down, but nothing major. So the car is fine as is. I'm just gonna go chill for a little while until about four o'clock. Catch you back with you guys when we head out to Ace Cafe. Okay, so it's almost four o'clock. I'm supposed to be leaving at like 4.15, 4.30ish or so. Um, my car tested fine, we filled up the coolant, that was not a problem, but now where my little nozzle is broke off for like a little drip line, it will not stay on for literally nothing. I shut the car, let it run for like 10, 15 minutes, and it blows off every single time, and coolant goes everywhere, and it's just pissing me off beyond belief. So now, I have to pull that back out and swap another one in. So right here is where it's broke off. It's never been a problem before. This has always just stayed on, but now for whatever reason, it is literally will not stay on. There's no pain on it. There's no, there's no problem. I used to over here got messed up, and now it's all ripped. So literally, I'm just I'm done with this thing. It's coming out. This is out of a Mark IV one here. Um, it's a little different in terms of where the sensor uh, mounts up, but you don't actually have to run the sensor. That's just to stuff it's lower, higher, not so it's not a big deal. So I don't need to run the sensor. Um, the mounting points I think are close to the same. If anything, I only need one. Um, I just needed to not hold coolant, but that was not broken. So as soon as this one comes out, it's literally getting hit with a hammer. I'm smashing to pieces. I'm like, I'm so over you. Things have now gotten even better. Um, this cap for the Mark III doesn't fit on the Mark IV. Waste of my time. This one doesn't work because no, I tried liquid cement, everything. Not, I don't know why. It just literally will not stay on there. So now one of the jet trucks to me, I guess. This I'm honestly done with this situation. All right, crappy coolant balls out. There's coolant everywhere. It's a giant mess. Here's the crappy one over here. Worthless piece of garbage. Here's the one out of the Jetta truck. This is actually the one that came out originally out of my car a long time ago, which was leaking. I just painted it, but like, you can tell on the sides there, um, it's all like puttied up because it was leaking, but it should be, it's better than what I had before. I, I fixed the leak, obviously, but I didn't like how it looked. So I put in the Jetta truck and I put that one in my car, but then that one broke. But this one's got a full nozzle, so we're good to go with that. So now, the time of the matter is to smash this. I can't wait. If you haven't realized yet, when things piss me off and I'm just like over them, they get smashed. Like I'm just completely done with it. I want it gone and smashing makes me feel better. So this will be uh, Coolant Ball versus Big Log. Number two, what's the last thing I smashed? Res wasn't the reservoir? No, it wasn't. It was a reservoir. Power Sting Reservoir. That pissed me off too. So I smashed that, so this is next. Look, Larry's here. I need you to hold the camera. I'm about to smash, I'm about to smash that. But I just seen you paint it. Yeah, well, it's getting smashed now. It's pissing me off. Okay, okay it's not working. So there's, I have another one over there, so I want it to get smashed. All right, so, cool. Let's all right, do it. Fantastic. Alright, cool ball. Do it, 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 do it,
put in the street. This is the same log I used to smash the power center's wire. Just nice and heavy. Line it up. Oh no, that was terrible. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's a bit it's tougher than the power stair reservoir. Might have to get a hammer or like a saw or something. Wait, let's try this. It doesn't break. <laughs> it's so terrible. <laughs> Super fail. It's literally indestructible. It just literally doesn't. doesn't do anything. So unfortunately it doesn't smash very well, but I got the grinder out and we cut it into, into pieces here. Worthless piece of garbage. All right, let's install my new one. At this point, everything is back together. I'm gonna let the car run for probably 10, 15 minutes. I need to get ready. I'm already about to be late. And then we're headed to Ace Cafe. This turned into something so, cars are frustrating, man. Frustrating, but I feel better. I, I, the coolant ball kind of won, because it wouldn't went smash, but then I pulled out the grinder and I chopped it in half, so I feel better. I feel much better. Let's go to Ace Cafe, come on. All right, car's running good, not overheating, but if you look down here, if you can see this one right there. It's still dripping, it's still leaking on the backside, so I don't, I don't care. I'm gonna send it. If it makes it, it makes it, it blows up. It's whatever. On the bright side, my AC is working lovely in here, so that's good. All right, let's get out of here. Updates, I have finally left. Thankfully, it's 4.56 now. I was supposed to be there at um, 5.15, 5.30-ish. Uh, I'll be a little bit late, not too bad. I already let them know, so it's all, it's all good. Uh, Rafa's on his way with the Harlequin Mark III. I'm not sure what this is going. I think there may be four of us total. Um, I'm hoping, I'm, like, I'm on hopes and dreams right now. I'm hoping this cooling ball holds up. I literally just went online and ordered another one right now. Uh, longer overdue, but it's on its way now. So hopefully the next clip you see is me at Ace Cafe, not on the side of the road because the cooling ball blew up. Uh, but we shall see. Hopefully it's gonna be a really good time. And I just found out actually Larry's gonna be coming up there later. Uh, he's actually leaving for Puerto Rico tomorrow. He'll be there for three weeks, and then he comes back for a little while, and then he's gonna go back for three months. So you guys want to see if you're in Puerto Rico, you get to see Larry um, down there helping out. So he's gonna be doing like phone, cell phone tires, that kind of stuff. So that'll be really cool. He'll be down there helping on the ground. I wish I could go, but this not my job, unfortunately. But I am donating to what I can from here. Uh, but yeah, Larry will be down there. So hopefully the next thing you see is me at Ace Cafe. Please. All right, I have good news and I have bad news. It's like both on both sides. So good news, number one, made Ace Cafe. Car didn't blow up. Good news, number one. Um, bad news, number one. Rafa's not coming, so I think I might be the only Mark III here. So sorry. Um, also bad news, if you can see right here, I brought the rain with me. So that's also super dope. Wait, so I have one, two bad news, one good news. Well, the car is here, not broken. So let's go see who's coming. Let's go have some fun. Hopefully this rain gets out of here. The rain's getting harder, which is really annoying, but I still have AC. Ralph's car looks good. He's got some new rotiforms on it. Look at that, look nice. Those are, those are on Craigslist. I almost bought those for the Mark V, but I decided not to. They look pretty good. Oh, got a, what is this? AE86 rolling in. Pull up so I can see. Pull up. Pull up. Hey. Okay. Actually no, oh yeah, old Corolla, pretty dope. Looking over here, we got a Subaru. It's, it's Dylan. It's, we got a, looks like a wide body E36. There's an S14, and then there's a Cabrio over there. We got a C7 Vet rolling in. We about to cut your whole lip. You're an idiot. You don't know how to drive. Rookie mistake. So real quick, real quick. This is my friend Megan. I'm sure a lot of you follow her. A little meagly. If you can hear my roof, it rattles until you hold it. It's annoying. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take Megan here. We're gonna put Megan right there. Look at that. See, look at that. We're gonna have Megan with us all the time. Good job, Megan. She fits in so well on the roof. And now it's vibrate no more. So thank you, Megan. Shout out to you. Shout out to Megan. Got a dope S13 coming in. Yeah. I think it sounds really good. Oh, that welded, welded diff life. Welded diff life. It's rough. Rough life. I think it's clean though. I mean, you got fake wheels, but it's still clean though. So clean. All right, the rain has stopped. I'm gonna pop the hood and see how much coolant I've lost. I know it's been dripping and my windshield's fogging up now in the front, so I think that's part of it, so we'll see. Type R, Type R, Type R, Type R. Okay, Florida. Oh, and there's another one over there. So five Type Rs. Well, they diff life. No bueno. 
This is Sasha in her R32, which is dope. Right hand driving everything. If you look here, you can see it's steaming. And it's coolant down here and on the ground and you know, running out into the street, which is awesome. But we didn't overheat, we're not low. I brought more water if anything, but it made it here. So as long, it's whatever. I have a new one coming, but it is definitely leaking hardcore. Yo, should I cut a hole in my hood and do like this? Cause this is pretty dope. This is pretty sick. Maybe the Jetta can get a nice cut in the hood. Type R, type R, type R, another type R, type R, and type R. And then, you know, the Lonely Volkswagen. Yo, there's another one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven type R's. This is honestly ridiculous at this point. There's too many of you. Currently, we're checking out this man's pager. If you know what a pager is, that's a pager. Old school right. stuff. <laughs> Rocking it. You guys were a few months back, uh, Sam, Sam Howard and Matthew Baxter, the fallen uh, police officers. This is actually Sam's car, which is super awesome to see. So respect to you, Art. rest in peace, Sam and Matthew. I miss you guys. This man just got stuck. Yo, he's stuck and it's pouring right now. That's so unfortunate. Yo, static warriors. He made it, good job. Goodness. There's a Mark III. I don't know who you are, but we're gonna be friends. By the end of the night, I'm gonna meet you and we're gonna be best friends. There's another one. Even though my Mark III squad's not here, I'm making a new Mark III squad. I'll get to you guys. All right, the rain is partially stopped. We're gonna walk a quick lap and see what's out here real quick. I got a Mark III over here. I think there's like three total. None of the Mark III squad came, but I got these guys, my new Mark III squad. Chelsea Carver's here, hi Chelsea. I don't know whose man this is, but like, you're touching, you're touching the, the pole, sir. You're not supposed to do that. Mr. Super, you're not, you're, not supposed, you're not supposed to do that. These S14s are super clean. This one is so, so clean. We had S13 hatch over here, and there's another S14 over there. Honestly, insane, like, Type R, Type R, Type R, Type R, Type R, Type R, Mark III. Look at Miley, just chilling, run the whole line. So many Type Rs. Whose mans is this? Oh, it's kinda dope. Whose man's is this? Yo, we're sitting on the stage. This is dope. Big screen, all the people. We're literally sitting on the stage. This is so dope right now. So our server just came by and we're all about to get wings. All of us are about to get wings. The first thing she says, we're out of wings. I should just go home. Like, what am I gonna do now? And empanadas are out too. <laughs> it's so sad. Yo, we're about to leave and these guys finally Finally show up. Look at these RSs. It looks so good on his car. I love it. I love it. He actually needs a passenger side fender. And I have my brown one still. So I think I'm going to hook him up with my fender. So we can get his car looking right again. We got this one finally showed up. Mark III. We got a Passat. We have this one. He's here on his new wheels looking good. Yo, this could be me. This could be Emma. This could be the daily right now. Bagged in some three SDMs. Oh, if money was no option, this would be my daily right now. It's so dope. And I'm glad this guy showed up. Yo, this thing sounds so good. Look at my taillights, they dope. They look so dope. Sasha's pulling her R32 next to my car. These cars are almost twins, kind of. Sounds so good. It's funny, back when I had the Aero Gear hood on my car, my car was like blue and the dark blue. Her car's blue and the dark blue. They're pretty close in color and with a hood like that. So I'm gonna say this is definitely my JDM like kind of twin of a vehicle. This thing sounds so good. That welded diff life. <laughs> On my way home, quick pit stop for some gas. Check this out, look at this. Yo, uh, your boy's so close to 250K. I'm gonna hit it tonight. Hopefully I don't forget and miss it. That would suck, but I'm almost there. All right, quick update. After I left the gas station, my coolant light came on. Um, it's leaking a lot faster than before. So I have a friend's house over here. Stopped by her house real quick. So I filled it up, let it cool off. Um, I have it full and a jug of water as well. Uh, I didn't make it very far for it to turn back on, so hopefully I can make it back home tonight. So it might be a long night. Hopefully the next thing is not me on the side of the road. It made, it, it made it an hour to Ace Cafe, which is no problem, but then I made it like 10 minutes from Ace Cafe before it turned back on, so that's not good. So we shall see. I filled it up at Ace Cafe while I was there. So I left at Ace Cafe full, completely full, and maybe drove like four miles from Ace Cafe up to stop and get gas, and then it turned right on after that. Thankfully, she lives right across the way. So, we should see. Hopefully, it's not too long tonight. It's like 11.30 right now, so this might get annoying. All right, 
start. We are on, it's not actually 103, that's got messed up, but uh, we're at 249, uh, 992. Let's see how far I get before it turns on. Hopefully not at all, but let's see what happens. So we are almost there to the 250K. Where you at, where you at? I'm counting on five, four, three, two, one, 250. Dang it. Uh, shall I get ready? Five, oh, there it is, yeah! 250K! And my coolant's not leaking out all the way yet, so that's good. All right, so progress, progress, we're at 250K. We're still on Turnpike, we're getting there. All right, we are at uh, 250, uh, 29. Uh, and we are obviously flashing as you can see, but I'm literally like two minutes from home. Um, unless the, cool, the temp starts going up, I'm gonna keep driving. I think I'll be okay. Uh, yeah, we made it another 29 mile, which is pretty good. So we're just about screwed. Made it to the neighborhood. I'm at uh, 250.31 now, so I made it two more miles. I'm probably about a mile from my house. Uh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Home stretch. Home stretch, home stretch, home stretch. We're at 32 now, like I said, by a mile to my house. My exhaust is loud, I'm sure all my neighbors hate me. And these lights are really bright, look at that. But we are almost there. Just a little further. And there, there's the house. We made it, we made it. In the garage and off. Let's go see how little coolant I have left. Probably none at all. All right, so this is where I pulled in, leaking. Leaking, 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 all the way up here. Let's check on my engine bay. Oh, Ripperino. Cool. Remember how clean this was? Remember? You remember guys when it was clean? Look, look, it's literally everywhere. Like, it's flooded down there. That's, that's so, so cool. Good job, Colton Ball. These things are the devil. Like, literally, these things suck. I have a brand new one coming on the way, but, like, honestly... I'm gonna order a nice metal one very soon because this this is just stupid. I'm not gonna do this no more. Like, look at this. It was so clean today. Come on, man. Ah, uh, yo, literally empty, empty. I literally made it here in hopes and dreams. Ah, uh. yo, it has been one of those days, and my lens is foggy because it's humid as crap. Come on. Okay, we're good. Like that. It's been a day. Honestly, dealing with like leaky coolant is like so frustrating. What pisses me off is that my coolant ball has never had a problem the way it was, and then all of a sudden today it's just like, yeah, I'm not gonna work. Then I put another one in that was fine in the jet truck. I hadn't leaked in the jet truck at all, and then it wants to leak in my car. Just, ah, it's so, fr cars are frustrating, you guys. Coolant stuff is frustrating, but I have a brand new one on its way, and hopefully it's here by Tuesday, because like I'm not touching this car until Tuesday. This car's gonna sit right here Mess and all, not touching it until Tuesday. I'm over it for right now. It is, it is get going. Um, Ace Cafe was dope, and Juku put on a cool meet. They raised some money, which is awesome. Uh, Larry didn't show up. I just realized Larry never came. Interesting. Calling you out right now, Larry. Uh, but he is going to Puerto Rico tomorrow for like a week or two weeks. Then he comes back, and then he's going to be there for three months, like I said before. So that's really awesome of him. Um, the rebuild and cell phone tires, this and that. That'll be really cool. I'll get some pictures from him to share with you guys. Um... And I think that's going to be it for today. I'm exhausted. It's 1 in the morning. Again, I feel like the third night in a row. I'm finishing my vlog like 1 in the morning. I have to edit this tonight. I have to work tomorrow. I'm going to be tired. I will see you guys Tuesday. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. And we'll see you guys later. Peace out.